What's up guys, my name is Joe and we are two weeks into fall, or at least two weeks into official fall. Uh, LA doesn't like to play with the rules, seems like so far anyways. That said, the temperature is starting to shift a little, meaning it's layer season, baby. Layer season is my favorite season. So with that said, here's seven fall fashion essentials for you to check out here in 2019. Most of this list is specific items, except for number one, that is the exception. Number one is a general category, and that is bold colors and patterns. Last year, fall was filled with more muted earth tones, which to be honest, I'm still a big fan of this. Subtle flex, guys, that's what I personally like. This year though, we're seeing all sorts of bold colors, interesting textures and patterns. So if there's ever a time to take on a statement piece or two, there's no better time than now. And just remember like everything else in the fashion world, there's tasteful ways to style bold pieces. You don't want to go overboard. Just let your statement piece do the talking. Keep your other pieces on the more subtle side so it doesn't look like too much. Next up, one of my personal favorite clothing items right now that is hitting hard right now, but I actually don't have one. I'm still waiting for mine to come in the mail. Uh, I was hoping to have it in time for this video, but I don't. And that is is the utility jacket slash worker's jacket. The worker jacket is the perfect piece to just add a level of ruggedness to any outfit. And the best part is it's such an easy piece to just throw on with just about any outfit. It's so easy to style. A good worker jacket just looks rugged yet clean and minimal and looks great with simple tee and jeans or chinos or even a collared shirt underneath. The other benefit is that you can find them pretty much anywhere right now. Like all your fast fashion shops, even high end, just, you know, the whole shebang because worker jackets are hot. One of my favorite is the Chet jacket from Wax London in either the Stormy Sea or Moss Stone color. But that is on the higher end. If that's a little too pricey, you can find tons of colors and variations on ASOS as well for like $64 and under. Third up on the list is boots. Nothing says fall like a, like a sturdy pair of big old boots. The more rugged for this season, the better. This one is fairly open in terms of style. You should definitely gravitate towards the kind of boot that you like most. But personally, that military boot vibe is where it's at. I've recently showed you guys the Alex Costa and Nordstrom boot, which I think is a great slick option. You also can't go wrong with the classic Dr. Martin 1460 boot, or of course, the classic Timberland boot as well. Really, it comes down to personal preference because you can't go wrong with any of these options. They're all great. They're all classic. I mean, Alex's one is newer, but it you know, still has a classic look to it. Number four, definitely one of the more recent trends. It's definitely picking up some steam and it's also gonna be the most controversial on this list. Some of you guys are gonna love it. Some of you guys are gonna hate it. And that is the fitted cargo pant. Now cargo pants for the longest time have just been associated with like older guys who don't know anything about style and they just want a million pockets to just stuff their life into. They've been seen as baggy and unflattering, but interestingly, things seem to be shifting a little bit. Cargos are starting to come back with an up updated slimmer profile that works especially well in the streetwear scene. Like I said, I'm sure this trend is gonna be a hit or miss for you guys watching, but at the end of the day, these fitted cargos are an easy way to experiment with your style a little without trying something completely out there or completely new. Fitted cargos, yay or nay, let me know down below if you're about them or if you're gonna pass. Fifth up, what I'm wearing right now, corduroy. Corduroy everything. Fall is such a great season for textures, and this year we're seeing corduroy everywhere. If you want it, you can get it in corduroy. Roy. All right, jackets, pants, shirts, hats, wallets, probably socks. I don't know. They get, they have it all in corduroy. There's just something so soft and comforting looking about corduroy pieces, which just makes it perfect for this time of year. Again, since it's so popular at this time of year, you can find it everywhere. And the blue one that you're seeing here today, I picked this up at Urban Outfitters. Corduroy is one of those pieces that most people haven't tried because it's a little different. People think it might be hard to style, but as soon as you get it in hand, uh, as you can see, corduroy can go with a bunch of stuff, especially you know if you pick the right pieces for you. If you actually pick up a corduroy piece, you'll see how easy it is to style with pieces that you actually, I mean, that you already have in your closet. Don't sleep on this trend this season because it looks great and it's really comfortable. You can get it in jacket, like I said, but there's also tons of uh, corduroy pants that look great as well. Number six, talking about some more outerwear pieces, and that is the flannel overshirt. I think most guys know at this point that fall is definitely the season to break out the flannels. But this season, we're taking that classic flannel shirt and adding some weight to it, turning it into more of an overshirt slash jacket type of piece rather than just your standard flannel shirt. At the end of the day, it's a simple variation on a fall staple, so you really can't go wrong. I love the extra weight of a flannel overshirt though. It just makes the piece feel and look just that much more premium and updated. That said, if you've got plenty of flannels in your closet, you don't need to go out purchasing a new flannel overshirt 
over shirt. An easy way to switch up the style of a normal flannel is to simply layer it over a tee and turn that into a bit of an over shirt, even if it doesn't have that extra weight. This still helps to add that layering effect and it just provides a more interesting way to wear a flannel as opposed to simply buttoning it up. Personally, I'll be rocking flannels over t-shirts all season as opposed to buttoning up. Finally, finishing off with one last outerwear piece, the windbreaker. For a while, the windbreaker was seen just as kind of like a basic necessity, uh, use it for function only, didn't really have that much style attached to it. But with the rise of tech wear, the windbreaker is actually starting to be seen as cool and something that you can rock in with your whole outfit and have it be a part of your fashion statement. You can find windbreakers from all sorts of brands, obviously the sports ones like uh, Nike, Adidas, North Face, or even Guess. Uh, like the ones that I've got here. It should go without saying that this is a very casual item. It's great for just going around the city, going on hikes, going on walks, hanging out with friends outdoors, but whatever it is, you know, it's a very casual piece. Definitely not something that you'd wear out to parties or anything formal like that. Still a great fall staple. And guys, that's my uh, top seven fall trends for this season for 2019. Uh, hope that you guys found this useful. Let me know what you're picking up for fall 2019 down below or what you've already picked up since we're technically in fall, although not really reflected here in LA yet. But you know, I'm, I'm hoping the season's gonna change. I'm hoping it's gonna get a little cooler. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see everybody next time.